Isn't that Dr. Eggman? Maybe he can tell me about those black creatures. Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part six of Shadow the Hedgehog. We are now in Cryptic Castle, the spooky castle base built by Dr. Eggman. And uh, in order to reach this level, you have to do the dark missions of both Digital Circuit and uh, Glyphic Canyon. Not both at a time, but like the way the map is structured, you have to do either of those missions in order to reach this level. And from now on, I'm just going to put uh, how you reach certain levels in the description. Because again, story-wise, they're really not that you know, joined together. It's not really explained how you would get here from point A to point B. You know, one minute you're helping Black Doom raise his ships in Glyphic Canyon and touching those jewels to activate them, and then he warps you here for some reason. It's, it's like, what? Or you could have helped with the Digital Circuit level, and then you somehow beamed in here. I, I don't know. Hey, Shadow! The Black Creatures have infiltrated my castle! I'd like you to go and light those giant lanterns! They're part of my special defenses! Please, you've got to find Cream. I've got to get out of this castle first. Light the fires on the giant lanterns. Come on, let's go! Oh, finally we meet Dr. Eggman at long last. Now we can take the fight to these aliens and join the Eggman Empire. Long live the Eggman Empire! <laughs> I'm a bit biased. <laughs> But, uh, with the four kids voice cast, we get our, as of today, current Dr. Eggman voice actor. That is Mike Pollock performing the role of Dr. Eggman today. And, uh, he is a great replacement for the late Dean Bristow. In fact, Mike Pollock is my favorite Dr. Eggman voice actor. And that's not just because he gave me an awesome shout-out. Greetings! This is Mike Pollock, and you're watching The Great Clement. Again, I might be biased, but, uh, Mike Pollock is awesome. And uh, he is our Eggman still today, like even in the newest game, Sonic Generations, Mike Pollock is still Eggman, so uh, get used to him, he's an awesome dude. And uh, yeah. But folks, now we're doing the dark mission of Cryptic Castle, and in order, for, in order for Eggman to destroy the alien forces, or to at least stop them somehow, we have to light these giant torches with these, uh, these fire torches, right? And uh... It's an alright mission, I guess. I mean, at least the, fi the five lanterns are pretty big and hard to miss. And generally, with this mission, you always want to take the high route. Uh, the only thing that sucks about it is that you're pretty much going to be carrying around that fire torch the entire mission, and there's no room to pick up uh, the Black Alien's laser pistols or, you know, Dr. Eggman's robot machine guns or whatever. So you're going to be holding on to those fire torches a lot, especially when you get to the later part of Cryptic Castle, which is so annoying and so not good level design at all. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, the Dark Mission, technically I should be attacking Dr. Eggman's robots in order to help with the Dark Score. See, the way the level is, Eggman's troops are actually considered the good forces of this level. By defeating the Eggman troops, you fill up your Dark Meter, and by defeating the aliens, you fill up your good meter. And yet, Dr. Eggman is our dark mission guy, so when we start attacking the robots, he's like, Hey, don't do that! And yet, it's actually helping with our A rank and whatnot. And even though I, I, I harp on about how you have to defeat, like, certain sides of the opposition in order to get, like, the good A rank and stuff, it's just recommended so that you don't keep getting a lot of points added against you. Uh, I think uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog is one of the easiest games in the series to get A ranks on, really. I mean, uh, as long as you're fast and you just keep going with it, you're really not going to be losing that A rank all that often, I don't find. Just be fast and know where you're going, and uh, for the most part, it's not too bad, but yeah. Like, I'm not going to attack a single Eggman enemy in this level, and I'll still get the A rank, so, spoiler. <laughs> this level design is really annoying and really frustrating, by the way. I have to keep this fire torch on hand so I can light these lanterns that will, you know, open up these, these pathways for me to go on. And yet, if I try attacking the cracked walls with the staff, it's going to damage the, the weapon, and then it'll break after a while, because weapons break, don't you know? I said this about the fires, about the alien sword earlier. So, I, I, I have to break through these walls, but I can't use the weapon, so I'm constantly spin-dashing them, 
And this place is such a maze that sometimes you break open cracked walls and you run into a dead end. And there's just all these different cracks and places you have to go. And and the, and the helper characters aren't helpful at all. Eggman and Amy don't tell you where to go. They're just sort of like, oh, let's see if you can find your way out of here. Oh, yes, and Dr. Eggman has a room full of chow. And I can abuse them for dark points. <laughs> chow abuse! I will never get tired of the chow abuse. Never! But, uh, yeah, you can beat on these chow for dark power. And, um... Uh, Basically, you want to light the lo the giant lantern in the middle because that counts as one of the five lanterns. And you can't go to the rest of the dark mission until you do anyway. Also, you gotta watch it, because, like, I jump through it, I jump across it so that, I so that my fire torch will light it. But, of course, once you've lit the giant lantern, then the big flame in the middle will actually damage you, so you do have to watch out for that. When you're on this balloon, you gotta tilt the control stick so that your character is facing the lanterns. You have to have a fire lantern on hand, of course. Uh, just so you can open this pathway, which will take you to the next lantern. Again, you always need a lantern on hand during the dark mission, and, uh... When you're getting through the cracked walls parts, it's really annoying, really frustrating. As for these bird parts, uh, every now and then you can attack one of the Black Arms bat creatures. They will fall unconscious rather than exploding, and then you have to hop onto them and get to the other side of the area. Uh, for the most part, you're just holding A to make it go faster, and you're dodging obstacles. You're dodging the other bat's laser beams, you're dodging the pillars that are coming your way. So, um, these bats can take quite a bit of abuse. You can hit, you can get hit like maybe six or seven times until they die, so... You're not in fear of, like, dying anytime soon, but, uh, you know. Obviously, just don't run into too many things. Don't jump off. If you push the X button, you'll jump off, and that's all bottomless pit, so, uh... Yeah, you just gotta watch it, but yeah! Long live the Eggman Empire! I'm one step closer to getting the truth from the Doctor. I will not let him interfere with my plans. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. Cream just happened to walk into a spooky castle owned by Dr. Eggman. She just happened to get lost in a place filled with giant pumpkins and tombstones and fire and shit. Not to mention this big war going on between Eggman's troops and the Black Arms. Oh yeah, Cream just happened to wander in here. You know, Cream, you're starting to look like a real fucking idiot. <laughs> in Sonic Advance 3, you just somehow wandered into a cyberspace area. Somehow. And now you're just wandering into a creepy castle. You're giving Knuckles a run for his money. SHUT UP! But anywho, uh, this is the hero mission of the game. Uh, pretty simple. Again, you have to find two things in the level. They're always going to be in the same spots every time you play the level, so you don't have to worry about that. But basically, as Amy, with Amy as your partner, you're looking for cream. And uh, basically, when you come up to this hot air balloon part, just take the lower routes. With the Eggman mission, you always want to take the high routes, because the lanterns are usually at the higher spots. Uh, but for the hero mission, you always want to take the lower routes, because generally, Amy will tell you when, like, Oh, I think I hear cream! I think I hear someone talking! Uh, and cream is right here, in fact. Go inside here, there's a left cracked wall. Bust it open, and you will find Cream the Rabbit. And of course, Cheese the Chow is missing too. <laughs> and if you can guess from the Dark Mission, he's probably going to be in the room with all those friggin' Chow. But uh, yeah. Uh, Lisa Ortiz is now our new Amy Rose. Uh, she replaces Jennifer Dooliard, and Lisa Ortiz is pretty good. I like her. I mean, Jennifer Dooliard is always going to be my favorite, but I have nothing against Lisa Ortiz. At least she's not Minnie Mouse. <laughs> but, uh, again, with the bat creatures, if you have a gun in hand, you can use it while flying them. Uh, but you never really need to. I just find just hold the A button, go super fast. You don't have to worry about it. You run into a wall, you'll get damaged, but you can always go into the open hole after getting damaged, and, you know, it's really not that bad. And because the robots are considered the good guys, 
uh, Amy will actually object to you defeating them. She'll be like, hey, it's not their fault, you know? <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of funny. And again, it, it, it's shades of, like, Sonic Adventure, how Amy Rose believed in the good of E-102 Gamma, you know? So she doesn't want to see Eggman's robots get destroyed. They're not all bad. Yep, that's a balloon. Again, the only thing I really dislike about this mission is just when you get into the inner castle part and with all the cracked walls and stuff, you really need to have lanterns, even when you're not on the dark mission, just to open up these pass passageways. And it's just really annoying busy work, you know? Uh, I just don't think the level design is that great. I don't like having to pick up these staffs. I don't like having to break my staff on the wall and then have to go back for a new one because I broke it. Just constantly spin dashing into the wall just so I can open it up. It's just like, ugh, this level's stupid. It's, I don't like it. Plus, the camera really isn't helpful here. The camera could be a lot better, but I'm going to save that for a particular level where it's a huge hassle. So stay tuned in three videos. But, uh... <laughs> Cause I, I just Shadow shouldn't be a more linear kind of game. It should have just big straight pathways where the camera tilts with you. It shouldn't have these closed off areas where you have to constantly backtrack and look around. It, it, it doesn't work for the camera, And but again, I'll get into a bigger rant about that when we get to a more annoying level. But folks, we're in the big room with all the chow. Cheese is not actually in this big area. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take the right pathway and this stone wall will start moving by itself. And you just wait for it to move all the way to the end, and then Cheese the Chow will show up. Somehow not crushed to death by the fucking stone pillar wall that is moving. I don't know how, but, you know. Either way, you find cream, you find cheese, and that is it. You have successfully completed the hero mission of Cryptic Castle. If you want to stay clear of trouble, then stay away from that doctor. And one thing I haven't shown off yet is uh, the normal mission route. Basically, if you want to get to the goal ring, you have to take the middle pathway. You know, Eggman was the left pathway, Cheese was on the right, and this is the middle pathway. And uh, just getting to the normal mission, you're going to see something uh, pretty interesting, pretty unique that you wouldn't see unless you were doing the other two missions. And I do plan on showing off these little extra stuff, you know. I'm not doing the normal missions, but if there is something to show off, then I will. So don't worry about that. This is like the only op the only time it really does stuff like this though. I didn't know that there was an underground passage here. Yeah. But what is? It's going to get us. Jump onto the rail with the ring. So basically in the normal mission, right before you get to the goal ring, you're getting chased by some kind of skeleton lizard monster thing. I, I don't even know what it is, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what happens in the normal mission. Boss fight time! Another Chaos Emerald. What are you doing here, Shadow? Doctor, I don't want to fight with you, but I need those Chaos Emeralds. They hold the secret to my... Enough of this nonsense! The Chaos Emeralds belong to me! All of them! No one gets in my way! Those who do will be destroyed! So stand clear or I will crush you! Just as I will those black creatures! Now, let me show you the power of my latest, greatest creation! Well, can't you just leave us alone already? Alrighty, so now it's time for the Egg Breaker! Yeah, the Egg Breaker. Uh, basically, there are guns all over the place, whether the Egg Ponds have them or whether they're in boxes. You want to just shoot him every now and then when he t tries ground pounding you. Like, after he ground pounds you, or tries ground pounding, you just go stop, shoot him, and yeah, it's pretty simple. Even when you do the dark mission and help Dr. Eggman light the lanterns, you have to fight this boss fight. That's not cool, video game! I am all for the Eggman Empire. I am all for supporting Dr. Ivo Robotnik, and you force me to fight him no matter what. That's bullshit. Bullshit, I say. <laughs> but yeah, that's Eggbreaker. Pretty easy.
Sorry, Doctor, but that Chaos Emerald is mine. Anywho, folks, I will see you in the other alternate Stage 3 in Part 7. See ya.